Hey, how was your week? So today I wanted to tell you about the free online resources that you can use to learn Spanish. Nowadays, there's everything in the internet. You can find everything. You can find vocabulary, grammar, exercises, audios, text to read, anything. So the good thing about the free resources is obviously that they are free. So it's affordable for everyone. And the only problem I see with the online uh, free resources is that they are not ordered. They are not complete. So that means that you don't have any guidance in your learning. That means that you will find in one place maybe some vocabulary, in another some grammar, then you will have some videos, but you won't know in which order you have to learn everything. So there is lack of guidance. So all the resources are there, but I feel that there's a bit of lack of, of guidance of in which order you should proceed in your learning. But I think they're a, bit, a, a really good complement a really good way to complement what you're already learning. If you're taking a course or you're studying with a book, then you can use all these resources to practice and learn more. I think that's a better way to use them. But anyway, everything is there, so you can use. So which kind of resources we can find? So of course we have apps for the phone, so we can carry it in our pocket and we can use any free time we have to study, to study Spanish. So there are many apps. We have many websites that have resources. So which kind of resources? Anything. You will find vocabulary, you will find grammar explanations, exercises, audios, everything. So there are many websites. You can also find resources on the social media. So nowadays, most teachers, especially online teachers, people who work online, so most of us will use social media to to share uh, tips and vocabulary and uh, knowledge. So you can follow some teachers. So most people will share like small things, maybe small tips or some vocabulary, new words, expressions. Um, maybe we'll uh, some people record audios so you can listen. So my favorite social media for learning languages is uh, Instagram and YouTube. Instagram, I like it because I usually use it in my daily life. So if I'm following teachers, for example, now I'm following some Russian teachers. So when I'm looking in my feed, I will find some publications by these uh, Russian teachers. So I don't have to remember to learn Russian. It just comes, it just pops in my Instagram feed. And so I will see some, some new vocabulary, some like really easy exercises like A, B, C options, like what's the meaning of this word or complete a sentences and there are three options, something that is really quick, but it makes you think, it makes you remember this language and practice a little bit. So I really like Instagram for this. And of course, YouTube. In YouTube, we will find videos. Which kind of videos can you find? You can find different kinds of videos. For example, there will be teachers who will uh, give like small uh, explanations on grammar, or small videos about vocabulary. So that would be like a teacher talking, like giving a small class. And there are also some videos which are some kind of series or like short movies where the actors will use a very simple language like for really low levels. So you can find videos for A1 level, A2, B1, B2. Well, if A1, B2 is already intermediate, A1, A2 is beginner. So you can find videos that are adapted to its level. So you can see people interacting and talking in Spanish, but in a easier language. So I think this is really useful. And I think I've also seen some audio books. Um, so, so that means that in the, in the screen of YouTube, you will see the text and then you will see the voice uh, telling the book. So like an audio book, but in YouTube. So you can find many, many things in YouTube. What else? Nowadays, there are many podcasts. Nowadays, I don't know, it's like the fashion of the podcast. Everyone is listening to podcasts. So there are also podcasts aimed to teach you Spanish. And a lot of them are free. So you can also listen to podcasts if you like that. And finally, there's Pinterest. So um, I really like Pinterest because there's a lot of resources in there and it's very visual. So you can use the search bar to look for uh, things to learn Spanish. The only problem I see with the material in Pinterest is that there is a, there is a mix a mixture 
of resources aimed uh, to students who are learning Spanish and resources for teachers who are teaching Spanish. So it's a bit difficult to navigate in between and find exactly what you're looking for. But the resources are there. So if you have some time, you can check in Pinterest. There are also uh, resources to learn Spanish. And these are, this is everything I can think right now to learn Spanish. Let me know if you're using something I haven't mentioned. Uh, please share it uh, under this video so other people can, can know and we can complete uh, this, uh, this information about resources, free resources to learn Spanish. And that's everything I wanted to tell you this week. I will see you next week with more tips, with more energy and more learning. I hope you have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye.